Hi everyone, it's Jan from Jan Plans Things and welcome to my plan with me video for my September setup. So midway through last month while I was doing my starry theme, um, I asked you guys what would you like to see for next month and basically the, um, the poll kind of went 70% Studio Ghibli, 25% Harry Potter, 5% miscellaneous and none of you voted for cats which really upset me but that's okay because I'll sneak in a cat whatever the month it is but um but so this month um i have attempted to do studio ghibli and i've started off by doing probably what i thought was kind of the most difficult which is Howl's moving castle and um i'm quite pleased with how this turned out so i'm doing everything again in my loish term 1917 notebook and um, so far i still really enjoy using this notebook for watercolor i did test the archer and olive earlier this month and i really really like that um and i have a few coming my way that i will um change to now that they're true a5 that i think i might start using that next month and um what i started with doing in this and you'll see me doing it in every single spread is starting with the pentel pocket brush pen and I'm um, doing that with the line work first so this time around I tried to do something a bit different and I um, I was sketching a lot of this spread on the go so um, I did that all on pencil first which is why you don't see me doing the pencil line work and I felt that it just saves me a bit of time instead of sitting down in front of the studio to do it the whole time so I hope you guys don't mind that too much because I think the exciting part is when the ink um, the ink goes on the page so I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolors again um, I have managed to get my hands on a few beginner watercolor sets and I'll be testing that throughout the next month as well for you to see how they perform and um, I have also have um, for my 50k giveaway which I still can't believe that I've reached I've got um, a really awesome set um, of supplies from Bunbugu Australia who have um, partnered with me to offer you guys something really really awesome so it's basically a, um, a set of all of my most used products so um, you can see that giveaway um, via the link in the um, bio below so um, for my monthly page, I've decided to do Haku from um, Spirited Away, so I'm a bit more loose with my theme this month because I think last time I did Ghibli, I just did basically Totoro for a whole month and I'm um, trying to um, limit that a little bit and explore um, some of the other movies, especially because I feel like I've really, really improved over the past year um, in drawing because I think like I wouldn't have ever attempted to do something like the... Um, something like the um, house moving castle spread before or even this um dragon but i feel like nowadays um my hand actually does what my mind intends a little bit more than it used to so um i'm having a lot more fun exploring um drawing especially i feel like i've improved a lot and i can um use my watercolors a lot better as well and i have become very used to using watercolors in my journal so I'm also trying to paint a lot more on um, normal paper because it does react a lot differently. So what I've done here is I've gone through and done just a blend of colors for Haku's mane and then used the buff titanium to do a simple wash, a warm like creamy wash over his body. And I think that looks okay but at this point I realized it looked a little bit empty on the page still so I added a little bit of a pale blue wash to the back of the dragon which I think I'm um, really tried to you know tie the theme together a little bit more. Um, so Bonbugu also sent me this um, palette of um, Kuritake starry um, starry what they're called um, but they're basically like the Kuritake version of the fine tech palette and um, I was testing them out during these spreads and I quite like how they perform they're a little bit more um, easier to work up so that by that I mean like when I first wet the pan and then I mix the paint around it thickens up a lot faster than the fine tech but that being said there are a few colors that the fine tech does better than the Kuritake um, I'll try and post um, a link to my story highlight where I went through this um, just I'll keep that up for a few days so you guys can see and I basically used bubbles on the side of the dragon as well as um, as well as the little paper, um, the paper birds, to do the numbers for um, my monthly. Now, for my mood tracker for this month, I decided to go with Ponyo. Um, Ponyo is a really cute 
movie, I think. It is a little bit creepy, but I think she's pretty cute overall. There's some pretty cute scenes. Um, so what I have is Ponyo swimming up um, through, the, through the ocean with a stream of little jellyfish. And the jellyfish have a little love heart. And I think I saw this one on Pinterest. I'll try and find the little picture that I was referencing for the jellyfish and um, link you to that one. And um, basically I have um, each day in each of the jellyfish and I figured that by the end of it we'll kind of have like a rainbow of jellyfish of the moods and everything. Um, I know the purpose of a mood tracker is to paint it overall at the end and it'll look nice but I can't kind of deal with a slightly unfinished looking page to start off with so um, I did add a little bit of colour with, um, with watercolour just to kind of ground the whole thing a bit more but just really simply just a little bit of grain on the leaves. Um, Colouring and Ponyo and then a little bit of a blue background as well. So I've got like the same blue I'm using for sky and the same blue I'm using for um, for water as well. That's a, that's okay. And if you can kind of see on the top of my um, my screen, I've got this little white plate, and I've switched from using my um, the the lids of my watercolor palette to using a porcelain plate um, the last few weeks because I just found it just easier to clean. So um, it's just a, it's basically just a dish that I bought from Muji. It was like ten dollars, and it's just so much easier to blend colors in. I still really like mixing colors in my palette for when I'm um, on the on the go. But at home, I feel like it's just a little bit easier and porcelain's like nice and bright and you can see the colors that you're mixing really clearly. So um, on my right hand side, as normal, I've got my ideas page. I've decided to go with um, the prince, the prince scarecrow from How's Moving Castle. I thought it was kind of fun um, as a character to pop there. And I've got little golden stars as well that I'll fill in with the Kuratake. Very similar to How's Moving Castle spread that I did at the beginning. What I'm doing here is I've actually um, I've actually um, gone over the shadows first, the blue gray, kind of like a Payne's blue gray. You find that on a lot of palettes, and I find that um, if I go over with the grays first, I can basically paint over um, those colors with anything, and it'll kind of blend in and create depth. So it's really good with just toning an image first if you're unsure. So that was a technique that I've been practicing. Um, over the past few weeks I'm finding I'm really liking it and it works really well on the LT because I have mentioned in the past that the LT dries with a really strong line around the edges but I think that actually works really well for when you're doing that technique because the um, the shadow line still stays but you can tint it with the color that you paint on top so I'm actually pretty happy with how these two pages turned out they don't look too intense and they're kind of cute um, so I'll, uh, I'll try and take a photo at the end of it when I at the end of the month I mean of um, me using it. I've been um, clipping the pages at the top um, just to hold them down because I found that I was spending a lot of time holding down my pages so I've been trying to use little clips um, during the during the month uh, just to help the paper stay together and I, th I think it's I think it's been really really helpful so this um, this spread is a variation of um, one of the spreads that I did I think it might have been September last year as well where I did um, Totoro as my cover page standing in the rain and it's kind of based on a image that I saw the fantastic Piccolo paint on his Instagram um, I'll try to link that one as well down down below in my description and um, and basically it was like a technique he did with Totoro walking along but with um, using the um, using a pen to draw the, um, the rain so that's what I'm doing now I'm using a 0 0.03 um, 003 um, sequoia micron which is the thinnest micron that I own and I'm basically just freehanding the, um, the lines now I wouldn't recommend you using a ruler for this because then I find that it's too rigid so um, I'm just going through and just like I'm just like dashing through these lines and um, I find like a little bit of um, movement that you have because your hands are a bit wobbly adds character to the lines it looks a bit more like rain so I find that works really well as well so for this one it's a little bit simpler I've just made the, um, the, the days I've combined the weekend into one day in the squares and then I've got Totoro walking along and um, the sign the stop sign says Monday basically um, for the start of the week and I'm really happy with how this weekly turned out it's a lot simpler than what I normally do but um, it was it was really fun and pretty quick to um, pretty quick to put together so um, I like that and I like the little the little third sprite who's just had a bit of a tough time and of course I've got a little soot sprite holding up the stars and 
Um, sometimes I don't realize, but I just stuck my sleeve in the paint there and it just made a little streaky thing, but that was okay because I thought that actually looked quite nice. And I've used the jelly roll there to make um, the numbers really pop on top of the micron circles that I painted. So that almost pretty much wraps up my plan with me for this month. It's um, going to be a bit of an interesting one because the Ghibli um, artwork is normally quite uh, I find it quite complex and difficult to draw because they do such a fantastic job of it. So I'm going to, I'm hopefully going to have a lot of fun this month trying again, especially because um, um, this will be like the second time I've attempted it and um, I do feel like I've improved a lot. I am really happy with how these spreads turned out and I hope you enjoyed um, watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye!